Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Building with Dustin. On, on today's episode of Building with Dustin, we have Willow Creek Bubble Tea and Games. This is a bubble tea and thrift and arcade store all combined into one into kind of like a strip mall kind of thing because I wanted it to be that way so it could be more like three buildings on one lot instead of one um it pretty much uses like every pack under the sun um and some kits of course it's on the gallery now it's not right when I'm recording this fat but it will be up on the gallery so without further ado okay you guys so let's go ahead and get on into the speed build shall we and this one I really put a lot of effort into this and it's kind of continuing with my high school years builds because let's be honest I am a little bit behind right now on those but this one I wanted it to feel like more like a strip mall and I wanted it to feel like a multi-purpose slot because I'm gonna tell you what guys I am dying for multi-purpose slots in the Sims 4 I would love to be able to build like a mall with different shops I mean you kind of can now and I did build one but it's kind of boggy so I think I'm gonna build a smaller one um but yeah and this um i really was trying to originally i was trying to go for like an old storefront kind of small town main street kind of vibe and it didn't really work that way because some of the things in the game didn't really allow that but i like the way it turned out um and i also one of the things that I really was trying to go for here is I didn't want it to be too cluttered and I didn't want to put a bunch of nonsense stuff on the lot that we're gonna attract your sims to go to that lot or to stay in a particular part of the lot even if they didn't need to so with that being said um, I have play tested this it does work um, the only problem that I had when I played it was the uh, thrift shop owner kept going down and playing the arcade games. And I think Bubble Tea, the games is the arcade. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but I really want arcades in this game. And I like to build, like I said, the lot next to this one's a multi-purpose lot too. It's a bookstore um, instead of a library and it has computers and a coffee shop in it. So, you know, um, but I wanted this one to feel like a little downtown area, like you just pull up and get out and go. And um, I thought it'd be a cute area because I don't know if you guys know this, but if you go to the downtown area of Willow Creek, it's actually a really cute area. Um, and we will hop into the game at the end of this and we will take a look at um, this in real time. And yeah, so originally i was gonna build a big restaurant here but this one i decided to do this instead and i did add something special above the um arcade i added in a send in as i like to call it a um a place to have a good hoot nanny if you will a um i don't know it's just like a place for teens to go hang out a debauchery den a send in whatever you want to call it there's a bubble blower up there. There's a kicking bag up there. It's a very rundown place. Um, I would imagine that teens would tell their parents that they're going to the arcade, and then you know if they like check their GPS on their phones or whatever, it would show them at the arcade. But really, they'd be up in the send in. There's a woohoo spot up there or mess around spot, depending on what kind of teen you are. No judgment here. Um, and so. You know, and if they check your GPS and they'd be like, I thought you were at the arcade, be like, oh yeah, I just walked around outside to talk to my friend. And there you go. So, I don't know. I like it though. I like the way it turned out and I was pushing my mic the wrong way, bitch. So, yeah, how are you doing today? I hope everybody is doing great out there. Um, yeah, I have had nothing. I've been trying to record this video for like an hour and it's probably only like a 17 minute video and every time i went to record something happened and then i did i deleted a scene off my obs and it like they deactivated my webcam and i don't i don't know 
I went to dinner earlier at a Thai place. It was so good. So here is the um, fire escape up to the send-in. That was the other thing. I used the high school years um, escape window to, so you have to like actually work to get in there. And like I said, we'll take a look at everything um, when it's all said and done. I really should have probably not left that lot list up the entire time I was building, but you know. <laughs> No one ever said I was smart. Um, so, you guys, I have the weirdest thing going on. Like, not to. Oh, here's the beginning of the send in. I wanted it to be really run down and dirty. Um, but, oh, yes. And then you guys are going to love this what I did with the bubble blower. I put, like, every chair around the bubble blower is a different chair. So, like, um, it looks very mismatched. And it's like they um, just use whatever they could find because. It's rumored, it's rumored that um, there was a kid that his mom found his bubble blower and so he didn't know what to do with it. And so he threw it in the dumpster behind the arcade and um, somebody found it and busted in the window, wasn't me, and moved it up here. And there's places to do graffiti. There's just all kinds of shit to do here. Um, so yeah. I really liked it. I really liked the way it turned out. The little bump out in the back there is supposed to be like the stairwell that's supposed to go downstairs, but it's closed off because that's the arcade. The arcade, I like the arcade, y'all, but I wasn't completely pleased with it. I tried to make the area by the desk seem like a prize area where you would like go to pick up prizes that you won. And I will warn you guys, my, uh, my thrift shop does have the area for the um, oh I did include some vending machines inside the arcade and outside the arcade so you can get like snacks and stuff um, but I will warn you guys my thrift shop is a little bit upscale sorry my throat's really dry um, but yeah it's a little I, I imagined it, it was like a upscale thrift shop And yes, that's two different sodas because my partner likes to do this thing where he'll get a drink um, not long before he goes to bed and then he will um, be like, hey, you want this drink? And I'm like, well, yeah, I forget you guys can't see my hands sometimes. Um, but um, so, yeah. And then I'll just end up with this drink. Or if he's got to take his medicine before he goes to bed, he'll go open a drink. Usually he'll open a Mountain Dew, but today he fell asleep on the couch because it's fraud, I bitches. And he worked today, and um, we went out to dinner. The Thai food is really good. I wanted to eat it all, but my boyfriend didn't eat all his, and I knew if he didn't eat all his, that meant he was going to probably eat it for another meal. And if I didn't have mine, I should have fixed my hair. Um, if I didn't have mine, then I'd have to fix myself something to eat. So here we go into the boba tea shop. I still haven't had bubble tea and boba tea, bubble tea, bubble tea, blah, 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 Um, I still haven't had any. We have a place that's like 20 miles from me, which sounds really far, especially if you're like here from a smaller country. Um, here it's not that far. Um, I used to drive that to work every day, one way. And, um... I need to go there and get some bubble tea. I keep saying I'm going to and I never do. I might do that tomorrow. But it's like, I heard a rumor they don't always have it. Because we live in such a podunk little town. So, you know, I don't know. Um, I just made a stupid face. Oh, well. God, I'm hideous. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gorgeous and I know it. So anyway, this got awkward. You got awkward really quick. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, I felt like for the longest time the bubble tea shop was missing stuff. And I kept sending pictures of it to my friends. And I'm like, what else can I put in here? And then I discovered a few things. I used um, some paranormal stuff here in this here um, bubble tea shop. And... Right here, actually, right here on the wall, and I think it turned out good. I used a lot of the pastel 
pastel, like it's pasta. The pastel pop kit. I used a lot of high school years. Um, my iPad is so old. I should get a new one. I used it as a stream deck and it was dead because I hadn't used it in forever because I kept forgetting to charge it. And it's on the charger and it was on 37% when I started this video and it's on the charger. It's on the speedy charger like the Apple laptop charger and it's lost a percent of battery. So anyway, here is the arcade. I, I'm not 100% happy with the arcade and I act like I um, couldn't do anything about that. And I could, but I got sick of it, so I didn't. It kind of looks like one of those arcades that you see that pops up in a strip mall. And then it's only there for like a couple months and then it goes away. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say something else that now I can't remember what it was. Oh, so here is the ticket counter area behind the closed off staircase. Um, it, I don't know. I feel like I could have done a better job, but again, I'm trying this thing in the Sims 4 where I build and instead of it being like crammed full of shit and that it might be boggy, even on my computer, I try to build now these days to where it's not as crowded. Um, PS, I want those neons right there of the cactus of the cacti I'm obsessed with cacti and um, I bought some ceramic ones for my kitchen and I'm really torn about my kitchen because we're about ready for drywall by the way but um, I'm really torn about my kitchen because I have like a lot of fruit that I want to use in there like fruit decor but I also want to use my cacti so I just don't know I think I'm gonna use both and say screw it it's me hi I'm the problem it's me so, and I mean, at tea time, everybody agrees. So, but there's a little section of where I wanted the movie or the toys to look like they were prizes that you would win. Um, and like I said, I tried to put things in these lots that wouldn't distract your Sims from what they were there for. But there's also tables out back. Oh, here's the, um, the, uh, the, um, I keep wanting to call it the thrifty spot, but that's kind of like the whole thing. Here's the um, thrift store. Hey, Macklemore, you want to go thrift shopping? Yeah, that's what she said. Mm -mm. What, 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 what? I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, I had the hardest time with the um this well really this whole thing because i built this when i was still kind of in my depression funk and i was having a hard time creatively and couldn't figure out how to do anything so there's that um i just yeah <laughs> i uh yeah i was gonna tell you guys something i keep forgetting it was really funny it was really funny so i have a new cat and she won't go through the cat door to go to the litter box and stuff i have to take her and the other day I was standing out in the garage um, while the dogs were outside. And all of a sudden I heard the cat door moving and I was like, oh, who's coming in the garage? And I look over and there she was. She just walked right through it. And I was like, you guys, I thought my cat, my cat that I got for my mom was fixed and my boy cat's not fixed because I've been um, waiting to get him fixed so he can... Uh, put on a little weight and I'm scared my mama cat might be pregnant and I was calling her mama cat and I think I doomed her I don't know what I'm gonna do she's pregnant I'm not ready for this I don't have kids for a reason oh I know what I was gonna tell you guys so I we only have a couple minutes left on the speed build so I should probably be talking about it but here's the area for the um, poetry readings and the fashion shows and stuff like that and I thought it turned out really well I'm really just happy with the whole thing. You guys will see here in a second. It's really cute. Instead of doing like an actual office, I put like a little office area under the stairs. Don't know if it's usable. Don't really care. It doesn't need to be. It looks cute. But I'm trying to capture card games onto my computer for my PS3. And because I had some older games I wanted to play. And if it's downloaded game, I can play it and it has sound and my computer can hear it. But if it's a disc, it didn't have any sound. It's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to fix it. I really don't know how to fix it. Okay, so here we are. I added some beams in here because I wanted it to look a little bit more rustic and um, like the building was old. And I really love using these beams. And I like using them as posts too. But if when you scale them up, they get a larger footprint. And so they, um, your Sims can't walk past them. So it's just like, it's a weird thing. I don't get it. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this. I'm sure I have. I'm obsessed with pink. I, I should get a pink couch for back there. I have a blue one actually like literally right below here in the garage because I keep forgetting to bring it upstairs. I might bring it upstairs tomorrow. I might bring it upstairs tomorrow. My CPU usage is up kind of high. I wonder why. Weird. So I was imagining those get to uh, work icons. Um, I should have left that chandelier pink. Why didn't I leave that chandelier pink? I love that mirror right there. It's from the jungle adventuring. Mm -hmm. Love it. My arm's itching. Sorry, guys. Um, I don't know what else I was going to tell you guys. I just, yeah, I don't know. Love it. Love everything about it. Um, I want to do some more build challenges coming up soon. And this time, it's not going to take forever to do them. I also have a really cool build that I can't wait to do. Um, I'm hoping it turns out. I'm thinking about building it in like live real time, but not like as a stream. And then just doing it in like a five part series or however long it takes me to do it. I would like to try that, I think. But it's more editing. I love making YouTube content, but editing is the worst part for me because I have ADD. And it takes for it takes it takes forever. Like hardcore takes forever. So we're about ready to get into the game here and take a look around Bubble Tea and Games. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. I think it turned out amazingly. I am very happy with it. Like I said, it is on the gallery now under Dustin Time YT or hashtag Dustin Time. Let's get on into the game and take a look around, shall we? Okay, you guys, so here we are in the game. It's got that kind of like Main Street feel, you know? And um, you know what? We'll have it be live while we're while we're taking a look around. We have somebody out here looking at clothes. We have little parking meters. I love Willow Creek. Oh, glitch in the matrix. There's two cars that are the same. But people are going into the bubble tea place. So let's start. Um, we'll do the Okay, people are in the arcade. Yes, I'm loving this. Oh. That's the thrift shop owner. Stupid bitch. She needs to go to work. <laughs> so here's the arcade. I love the way it turned out, but I don't at the same time. So there's that. Um, let's go over here next door. Oh, hi. Into the bubble tea shop. I think it turned out really good. I think it looks really cute. It works. Nina Cal Nina! Or Katrina! Not Nina. It works. So that's good. And then back here we have like a little storeroom. In here we have a bathroom. Nothing too fancy, but I like the way it turned out a lot. Um, I just love this little area. And then you go over here and you have the thrift shop. I think it turned out really well. I love the little dressing room area. Oh, something got deleted. Damn it. There's a, oh no, it's there. Weird. See, there's a little office area under the stairs. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go up. Okay, so up here is the performance area. A little low ceilings down here, but that's okay. Performance area. Then you go over here, and this is the send in. So let's start out out here. That's my coffee shop and bookstore. So you climb up the fire escape here, climb in through this window. You have the bubbler, the graffiti, then you have the mess around closet then you come out in the hallway and you go this way and you just have this run down nasty um, kitchen and bathroom but if you go back this way you have some water leaking in from the ceiling but you have all this stuff card table so there's all kinds of stuff here to do for your teens i think i'm gonna have my teens make like a um a uh, what do you want to call it like a club and um that way they can hang out there 
and get to know people and have a good time and just do some hoodlum shit you know what i'm saying so anyway guys that's it for this video i hope you liked it as much as i did um it is like i said it is on the gallery now i have the auditorium that goes with my high school that'll be coming soon um but yeah Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And ding the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Love you, mean it. Bye.